everyone, this is Dan Dix reporting for Press for Truth. The Eurozone, as we know it today, is currently on the brink of a total collapse, and the international financiers, the puppet string pullers on the global stage, are currently positioning themselves in places of power to ensure a total takeover of the European Union. In fact, the new leader of Greece, Lucas Demetrius Papadamos, used to be the governor of the Greek Central Bank up until 2002. Then he became vice president of the European Central Bank. This man has worked for the Federal Reserve. He was integral in Greece's switch over to the Euro, and he is a member of the Trilateral Commission. Meanwhile, Italy's former premier Berlusconi has recently resigned only after passing legislation that agrees to accept a bailout from the European Central Banks. The people of Italy didn't even have a say in the matter. In fact, President of the European Council, Herman Van Rompuy, has recently stated that the country needs reforms, not elections. There is a very good possibility that EU Commissioner Mario Monti will head up the new government in Italy. This man is also the European Chairman of the Trilateral Commission, and he also happens to be a member of the Bilderberg Group. What we are seeing now is two major Eurozone countries under what could amount to a coup by the international banksters. The president of the European Commission, Jose Manuel Barroso, has issued a call for the EU to unite or face irrelevance in the face of this mounting economic crisis in Italy. He said, quote, we are witnessing fundamental changes to the economic and geopolitical order that has convinced me that Europe needs to advance now together or risk fragmentation. Europe must either transform itself or it will decline. We are in a defining moment where we either unite or face irrelevance. Barroso has recently warned that the breakup of the Eurozone would cause a continent-wide depression, shave 50% off of the GDP and cost over a million jobs in Germany alone. Angela Merkel, the German Chancellor, has said that the situation has become unpleasant and has called for the Eurozone members to accelerate plans for closer political integration. She said, quote, It is time for a breakthrough to a new Europe. Because the world is changing so much, we must be prepared to answer the challenges. That will mean more Europe, not less Europe. You see, the debt crisis in Europe is like an inflating balloon that will inevitably pop. Austerity measures and new bailouts for Italy and Greece will only inflate the bubble that much more, which will inevitably lead to an even bigger and louder bang. Because that has been the goal all along. It always ties back to order out of chaos. If they can cause enough economic turmoil to cause a collapse, they can then pose as the saviors of the situation to introduce new solutions to all of our current problems. These solutions always lead us more closer towards the centralization of power into fewer hands. The amazing thing about what we are seeing today is while these international banksters are going for their power grab and trying to consolidate power, people all over the world are beginning to wake up to these issues of private banks issuing currency at interest that they create out of thin air. And the simple fact that they are clamping down on Occupy movements all over the world means that we are on the right track. And that is why it is so important that we continue to raise awareness about these issues. As George Orwell once said, in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act.